What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. VP Tactical here. Uh, you can imagine I've been off for a little while, and I do apologize. I've actually been getting over a cold. So today's actually the, forgive the, the sniffles and stuff, uh, the best I've felt. I don't know if it was flu or what it was, but it was definitely dragging me down. Um, but nonetheless, I did want to do a video based on, well, climate change. You know, right now, you say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, spring's here, well, in some states anyway, and, uh, you know, summer closely approaching, it kind of makes us think about different ideas of how we're going to carry, especially if you carry on a daily basis, um, concealed or non-concealed. So I've got a couple of options here to kind of show you some, some different variations of holsters that you could use. So for this purpose, we're going to be using the uh, SIG P320. This is in subcompact. Of course, bad boy is empty. So nothing in there. Um, starting off with this one. And an, I should make a remark too. A majority of my holsters I've actually uh, purchased online. I think a lot of them I picked up off of eBay um, or other stores. So they're not necessarily big name brands, if you will. However, you know, they're folks that are making a name for themselves and they're typically uh, military vets that I've, I've, I try to purchase from, try to help them out and uh, give back to the service that they've done for us. So that being said, kind of starting off with this one, this is a in the waistband holster or what we would call, you'll probably see acronyms IWB. So this one was actually made by, I think it was... Um, it's Stan Mullen Laban here, but I think it was like Spartan or something like that. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it in the description down below. So just a heads up. But this one's an in the waistband holster. It's a combination of Kydex. So it's form fitted to the gun. Decent retention on it. So that means it's going to hold the gun despite the fact if you're moving or um, bending over in certain positions. But it also has leather on the back. And that was something that I wanted. Uh, I think that's a little bit more comfortable versus having some of the other in the waistband holsters, which I'll show you here in just a second. But as you can see... This just slips right in, I can put it in the right way. And you can hear that click, there's a nice click. And if I shake it, and I'm not putting any pressure on the, the gun, there's a fair amount of retention, right? So and I'm holding it upside down right here at the moment, so it's not coming out, but you can adjust that retention based on these screws here. So great little holster, love the click. Um, minimal wear on the gun. And again, it has that, that leather backing piece, so I like that because that definitely uh, is a bit more comfortable than hard plastic against your body. And this is assuming you're not wearing an undershirt, right? Especially if you're in lighter clothing, for example. Uh, the other in the waistband holster is going to be something like this. Again, same thing, picked it up off eBay. I think, you know, between these, you probably get them somewhere between $30 and $50, respectively. This one's a little bit more, well, compact. I mean, heck, look at the difference in size. So... Now, this is a full Kydex versus Kydex and leather. So the advantage is really here is that it's going to be a little bit easier to conceal. And this is probably going to be a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're wearing less in the summertime. And this one, same thing. It's going to, going to have a, a clip on here, which usually a lot of them are adjustable. This one's adjustable here. You can see that there's uh, ability to adjust the cant angle. So the, in other words, the angle of the actual clip itself, so that way you can actually get a... We'll have a cant on it, so that way it's easier to draw from. But this one also has a mechanism here where you tighten this down or loosen it, you can adjust the retention. I tightened it up a little bit, but you can see the same thing. Doesn't really want to fall out. So that's really what you want. You want a good retention in there, but you also want to be able to pull it out quickly if you need to go and draw. So again, in the waistband, IWB, that's where you'll probably see one of the most common acronyms, even if you're searching for pistol holsters online, that's something that you can use and that will also uh, help you find uh, what you're looking for exactly. And then of course you have, and this might be a little bit better for, you know, a state that's friendly to open carry, or for example, you know, the gun range, um, this is going to be a OWB, as they would call it. And there's tons of variants out there in different companies, manufacturers. This is a out the waistband holster. So this one, of course, is with made by SIG. This actually came with the gun originally when it was in its uh, compact form versus subcompact now. But nonetheless, I mean, the gun still fits. Decent amount of retention in there. Doesn't really want to fall out. So that's a big plus. And then same thing, you want easy draw and be able to get that gun out quickly in the event that you need to use it. So 
pretty simple mechanisms too as far as hollow these clip. Usually they're just gonna go right onto the pants and there's some sort of mechanism there to hold it in place. Um, same thing, you know, again, the in the waistband. The one unique thing that I did like about this one is that not only did it have the clips to go on your belt, you can move these around and adjust them for different uh, you know, modes of, of, wearing, of wear. And then in addition to that too, you'll see here, it's got these slots on each side. So this you could actually put or feed a belt through. So feed a belt through on this side, and it would wrap around. And then, so that could actually be an out the waistband holster. So this is kind of a multi-function holster, if you will. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of everything. And like I mentioned before too, as I'm moving around, forgive me, that I'm gonna have a review coming up here on the Benelli shotgun. And in addition to that as well, I've got a little lovely parts box here. So stay tuned to see what's inside. Got a rifle build that's gonna be coming here in the near future. I'll do a little mini series on it. And uh, as always, I do appreciate you stopping by and hopefully you enjoyed my content. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, share, and just the same, uh, be safe and stay vigilant.